Hello trader, this is Ash Ham from LearnDayTradingFast.com, September 30th, 2010. And today what I'm going to talk about is shorting what I call daily charts after a long run. Such as what I'm looking at right now, I'm looking at a PCLN, so if you shrink the chart, it looks like the stock has been jumping and it hasn't traced back or took what I call a correction. So what we're going to do is, we're going to see, alright, so we'll put it on the daily charts in 5 minutes. And it looks like the stock is going to... Uh, dive in any day or seconds so I'm not sure it's gonna do that but I'm a proactive so I say to myself if it breaks that 350 which is the 349 50 or below I'm gonna go short and continue short for that day and I'm not gonna go long because the direction of overall is gonna be short so right now it's making what I call when you're gonna learn our school as the trading education dot com means L and uh, you're gonna learn as my style mythology of course that what I call a bear cup a bear cup is when a stock make like a u-turn and it tells us that the uh, uh, the um, people are coming in and they're ready to drive the stock from a high to low and that's called short that means they wanna take the stock at uh, from higher to low and the stock is tired so therefore is as you know the, the market maker wants also wants to make it affordable for people so therefore he has to split the stock or just continue down short so people can be able to go back and uh, uh, buy the stock or short the stock otherwise it's gonna be very hard for him to keep making money because he has to make what I call a market maker order flow and that's the correct way to do this so right now I'm gonna be a proactive I'm not gonna short anything and as soon as it breaks that what I call that 349.50 or so I would definitely like to hit the short and continue short and that tells me that the short signal has started on that particular stock PCLN so I'm gonna pause right now and we'll come back when we see a short signal after breaking down through what I call second day high and here you go guys as I anticipated that the stock will gonna retrace all the way back to near the 350 but I'm not gonna short it till it breaks what I call the 248 50 or 249 50 and all the way continuing down now the reason why one more time I'm picking this stock because I'm looking out of my daily chart PCLN right now as you see it in real time you go to daily and as you see the stock is tired after a long run and usually a lot of stocks on daily chart they get tired very easily and your job is to find those and go with it as intraday or a swing trading day so it doesn't matter what it is as long as you understand the mechanics so right now as I said to you that the stock will tend to go short past the 350 benchmark and will continue to go short so therefore is we are gonna hold the stock all the way to the end of the day because the stock is being tired on a daily chart and as you see the cross mark right here the stock penetrated it so therefore is we have a short signal that came from PCLN from 358 all the way down to 348 but entry is at 350 as you see in the benchmark and as you go it's now 348 so the short is in our favor and again one more time daily chart scanning intraday hunting as you see the trade is in our favor from 350 all the way to 348 so we're gonna pause here the recording and come back when it reaches below or lower than the price of 348 because on a daily chart we have what I call an imbalance signal it tells us that the stock on the daily chart is running tired and it has to do what I call a correction and the second of all is the price is very high so therefore is the market maker wants investors and players so therefore he has to make it affordable so he has to drag the stock down split it or do whatever to make the players comes back on the table and start trading freely now remember this is real trade done in real time so you can see that what is, what is the entry should be and how if then as you see you can take your profit at any time you want when you are green it's good so when you're red and you are in a green zone that's not good when you are short and the meter goes green that means you're doing good and short so therefore is either way is you have to be very careful in trading successfully and trade little shares here and there till you accumulate those tactical methods and you can do it in real time with no hesitations and thinking twice so we wanted to make sure that you understand how I got into the trade I, I got into the trade based on the daily chart 
it's been running for a while now it's tired so therefore I anticipated that the short is coming very shortly and therefore I see it that it popped above yesterday and it made what I call a reversal hat looking and it tells me that the bears is going to be in control and there you go entries at 350 49 50 all the way down to 346 as you see it in real time is going down I'm not exiting because I'm not seeing an opposing queen candle uh, that tells me to exit so I should be seeing at least one or two opposing three candles for me to exit that red trend down so meanwhile I don't think so hold Alright, as you see, as it reached what I call that support right here at 346. So again, you can take your money anytime. So this tells me that I should be taking profit off the table and cover up my short soon because the market maker like to short squeeze and take some of that losses back that he lost on the way down short. So therefore, as right now for me to exit correctly, what I will do is that I will teach you in our trading room at www.trading edu.com at means I will teach you exactly how to do this these tactical methods ninja style in real time so you can see it apply it copy paste it the very next day with no guessing absolutely think free but you will understand professionally the systematic the mechanic and why and if then just like golf proactivity always win in day trading not reactivity all right so that's it for the lesson for today. As you see, the stock is bouncing at the uh, support right here. As we draw it, it's, it could continue down. But again, remember, we are here day traders. We're taking 50 cents, 35 cents, points. If the, guy, if the stock gives us points plus, that's a gift. Take it. But again, you have to be very careful and learn when to become aggressive versus conservative based on what I call those chart images. And that's it for the day. We had a nice short on the PCLN. And I hope that you learned something that daily charts completely can give you an exclusive, powerful movement on intraday charts. If you know how to time your daily chart, which you will learn with me, Life and Zal, at, at the www.tradingedu.com, how to do all this thinking free. Take care and thanks again. Again, this is uh, Ash Hamden from LearnDayTradingFast.com, September 30th, 2010. And a short example was PCLN for the day. Take care.